In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at how to create a simple background using the title tool. Uh, sometimes you have a background you'd like to put on the screen, either all or part of the screen, and you don't want to go to a full-fledged graphic editor to create your background. If it's not too complicated, you can make some nice ones using the text tool. Let me show you how. I'm going to click up here on text and click on new text. Here again, I'm in the expert mode. Then I'll click on default text and I have this screen pop up. What I'd like to do here is I'd like to work on a background. So I'm going to click on the add text and simply delete it by pressing the delete key. Then I'm going to take my shape, my rectangle tool, and I'll take it and I'll drag it to cover the entire screen. And now I have a white background. So if that's all you want, you're done. But you can do more than that. I'll take the color palette here and we can go ahead and change it to anything we like if we want a solid color. I can also make a gradient background here using the same tool by clicking next to solid and doing linear gradient. And this will give me two options. I click on the box on the left and I can pick a color click on the box on the right and I can pick another color and now I have a linear gradient. Now right now it goes from top to bottom. I can change the angle by dragging across these numbers or by typing in a different number. I can also change the blend of the gradient by moving the, the colors closer together which sharpens it up or farther apart which makes it a little more ambiguous. And I can also change the balance by moving one on one end and the other slightly closer. It just changes the percentage of one color compared to the other. I also can do a radial gradient if I want. And here I have one color on one side and the other on the other side. And if, again, if I get them very close together, I get basically a circle in my linear gradient. Um, radial gradient. The next one is a four color gradient and this is where I can pick a color on any quadrant. Let's pick that one on the upper uh, one side. We'll pick something maybe just a little different on the other. We'll go to the bottom. We'll pick something in the green spectrum and on the lower right we'll pick something in the darker green spectrum. And again that gives me just a different way to do a color gradient with four colors. The next one down is I can do a bevel. Let's take a bevel here and we'll, we'll stick with what we've been using, kind of a green on the one side. And let's make the other part, um, let's make it a hot pink here. And if I change the size of the green and keep the balance at zero, you notice now I have a bevel, a soft bevel here. And again, uh, that's a horrible color combination. Let's see if I can change this color to something a little closer in, in looks. We'll do that one. It may take a while for the, the screen to catch up. There we go. Uh, but there I have a soft bezel. If I change the balance to a solid number, then I will get a hard bevel or none at all. The, uh, here's another option here. So you can choose a beveled background. I'll turn this back to zero. That gives me my softest uh, mix between the two. These are the most common ones. You have two other options called Eliminate and Ghost. We won't deal with those in this particular lesson. But it's a nice way to make your own simple background simply using the Shapes option in the Text Designer.